referees have to go look at the replay and the shot was good tie game 29 seconds left true Stewart the sophomore at six foot two bringing the ball up will he be able to work for that last shot hot and hot and is on him now he got in the hands of Mercura Pesola North with the ball 10 seconds now let's see what happens Mercura with eight cross handed dribble backs it up he's got four seconds he can shoot from anywhere on the court and that long three on the way he won the game he won the oh game JP Mercura at the buzzer Lakeville North has gone to the state championship take the shot everybody in the gym knew that he was going to take the shot and he came through for his team what an awesome finish to a great game they're going to look at the replay Richard we just talked about it and they'll take a look I mean just a great this kid can flat out score the basketball Wow. Basket's good. Wow. Game over. Now they'll let him shake hands. <laughs> right in front of the head coach, John Austin. Look at that. And Johnny O with those hands raised up in the air. And what a game. The second game in a row. We seem like this. Our player of the game tonight brought to you by Perkins, putting it all on the table. Magic moments here at the Target Center tonight. That kid right there, he just knows how to score the basketball. He has superb confidence. And he's going to consistently attack the basket, attack the hoop, looking to put it through. Tonight's play of the game brought to you by Paulie Met Mining. Gosh, I wonder what play it's going to be. Where well, everybody in the gym know that he was going to take the last shot. There was no way that he was giving this ball up. Got the big screen there from Connor Flack. And Sam Newman was playing good defense. Richard, he was there. Great defense. You know, but when you got a great offensive score and he's hot like JP was hot tonight, wow. Look at the head coach, Johnny O. <laughs> Play of the game brought to you by Polymet Mining, working on a plan to mine the copper, nickel, and other essential metals that make this broadcast possible. Learn more at polymetmining.com. Tori. I got J.P. McKiro here. 31 in the game. Nothing bigger than that last shot. Incredible. Take me through it. Uh, we were trying to get something to the hoop right away off the of screen, and there's five seconds left to run. I, just, I don't want to say I threw it up, but I, I got a good look, and I made it. How about for you? Here you are in the, moving into the state championship game. Uh, it was Osseo last year that hit a buzzer beater to win the state title. Nice to be on the reverse side of it. Yeah, definitely. We're hungry. We want a state championship. we gotta, we got to play together. I think we can get one. JP, uh, we are just talking off camera for a moment. You said you never even shot a ball for a buzzer beater. What was that moment like having the ball in your hands at the end? It was great. I usually am a decoy, and they decided to get the ball to me, and I just shot it. And I happily, happily went in. How many times as a kid have you played that out in your driveway a ton hundreds of times just counting down three two one and it went in and it ended uh, right way at the right time congratulations on a huge victory yeah i appreciate it all right jp mckiro once again dave the hero of the game how do they end like this dave this is amazing this is a lot of fun uh, it's fun when they're like this at the end no matter who wins let's look at it uh, three different times here richard <laughs> look at everybody in the gym Absolutely everybody knew who was going to take the last shot. But look how he backed up and faded away on a long three-pointer. That's, that's tough. You know what I like that he did? He, he got the ball even higher, a higher arc than he normally shoots. And he was so deep, he had to do that to give it a chance to go in. <laughs> oh, what a reaction. The night session could not have been any more exciting. We got our state championship sets for Saturday night.